Hey everyone, and welcome back. Our last guest is a Bronx native who since the age of 11 has been writing songs and exploring her artistic passion, uh, crafting a sound that's attracted many due to its uh, raw and authentic essence. But you know, what I find most fascinating about her is that uh, she's the creator of Uptown Melody, a performance series dedicated to highlighting Bronx artists through live music events. And, and she's gonna share more with us but so let's just welcome senior songwriter and uptown melody creator ayana williams hello and welcome 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 back <laughs> <laughs> good to be back <laughs> it's been a while it's been a while and i know back in a different kind of way but i'm with it i'm happy to be hey, here <laughs> you know we had you back in studio uh I, what was it in like 2018 right Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, and and I felt it was so important for me to introduce you the way I did because you know I, I just find it so admirable that you've been cultivating this community and and you continue to and 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 I'm really curious to know how you've been able to sustain it and but even before we go there right it, it, being your own craftswoman um how you it, it's been so meaningful for you to not only do it for yourself but to lift others and hold space for them so let's talk about that yeah <laughs> <laughs> no, you're let's, like, right. <laughs> let's just of jump course, straight into it so uh yeah uptown melody is uh, my company my collective my baby um, like you said, dedicated to highlighting and celebrating Bronx and Uptown creatives through live music events. Uh, we started last year in June at Boogie Down Grind Cafe. And a whole year later, we are still here producing events, uh, showcasing uh, artists beyond just like music artists. We've had poets, we've had comedians. It's been like a really beautiful journey. And I'm just grateful that we go in strong and we collaborated with so many different Bronx collectives, uh, woman-owned business, Black-owned businesses along the way. So it's been a beautiful journey. And yeah, it's, a, it's about the community. It's about the Bronx. <laughs> Well, yeah, again, it, it, it's a, 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 a huge undertaking, right, to not only just manage your own career and your own crafts, right, and your own creations, but now to take on other people's, right, even though it's inside of your company. And, and the fact that you technically created it during the pandemic, right, even though it was like later on in the pandemic, the pandemic, 2021, we were still in the trenches because there was different variants. <laughs> Um, and that you were able to sustain that safely uh, because I know the Boogie Down grind was also presenting outdoors. Uh, mm -hmm. They were doing a lot of the performances. Um, but let's, I'm saying this because, you know, Majora, Majora Carter is somebody I've known for very many years. And um, while she's created that movement with the Boogie Down grind, now she's got Bronxlandia. And you guys are going to do your anniversary celebration there. So let's talk about that. Yes. Yeah, so we are celebrating one year of Outtown Malady. Actually, tomorrow tomorrow at Bronxlandia eight to midnight and um it's gonna be great we're inviting past Uptown Melody performers back I like to call them Uptown Melody alumni uh but uh performers from the past like honestly like fan favorites back we're gonna have uh Bronx vendors Bronx businesses there as well you know just we want to continue supporting them as well and we're gonna party we're gonna celebrate DJ Sabrasura is on the ones and twos and that's been my A1 since day one just my DJ for majority of my events and my partner as we uh, continue doing these uptown melodies. So uh, it's gonna be a great fun time as all the uptown melodies are. I think there's just always a positive, supporting, loving energy in the air for each event, hands down. No matter what circumstance we're given, no matter what challenge comes our way, we make it work and we have a good time. I know, and it's, it's I, you know, it's, it's the next generation of creators, right? Even though I'll be in denial, I'll be like, yeah, I'm down with that. But the idea <laughs> is that we're still moving it forward and passing it back, right? And so um, in doing so, uh, with regards to your artistry, because I know you're going to be performing as well, right? Yeah, you know, I might do a little, a little two-step, like my friend. <laughs> I might do a little ooh and ah. <laughs> That's what my best friend says. <laughs> You're funny. You're, You're like, mm, maybe I'll do yeah, it. Yeah, we're going to sneak a little bit in. <laughs> and but I yeah. 
Yes, I know you presenting for us um, after this segment, and I want to make sure that they also know that you know you've got two EPs out. So let's let's talk about that really quickly before we run out of time. <laughs> So yeah, of course, in addition to being an event producer, I'm a singer songwriter with two EPs out, Delicate and Love Box, my own original music uh, produced by my music partner, Quincy Valentine. Um, and even the song that we share today is just, it's a summer bop. I like to call it. It's just a summer bop, feel good bop. And I love to talk about love. Majority of my songs are about love. I was raised under the R&B belt, you know. So back in the day, R&B was a lot more about just loving. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's the type of music I create. And I always hope people vibe with it. And yeah, when I do Uptown Melody, I make sure usually majority I'm hosting and making sure everything is running smoothly. But yeah, I make sure it's like, if I call myself, because Ayana Williams is my name, but I go by Ayana the singer as well. So if I'm calling myself Ayana the singer, I got to show people I can sing. <laughs> okay, okay. Bring yourself okay. that name and then <laughs> drop the <ball. laughs> So yes, I'm a singer as well. <laughs> Just want to make sure that they know. But most importantly, I think you said it uh, in one word, and that is the word love. You're definitely radiating it. And um, and I know we're going to be hearing about it because she's going to be singing in love, uh, in love song, right? So don't go anywhere because she's going to perform for us after the break. Ayana the singer. <laughs>